Hey guys, it's Kaler. Welcome to the YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to finish up the design we started in the last video, this online learning platform with this nice pink themed website. In the last video, we created the hero section. So if you missed out on that, make sure you go click on the card that'll be on the screen right now, and that'll get you up to speed with today's tutorial. So let's go ahead and get started. So here's where we left off in the last video. I'm going to select the artboard itself, and then I'm going to drag out a little bit down so we have some room to work here. Then let's drag out a rectangle. So we're going to add a section showcasing the different languages that this learning platform offers. I'm going to set the Y position on this rectangle to 1080. So it's just outside of the fold of this website. So you have to scroll down to see this. If you'd like, you can bump it up a little bit to have just a little bit of visibility to indicate you can scroll down if you'd like. I'm going to size the height of this rectangle to 120 points. We're going to set it to our black color that we're using and remove the border. So this is that bluish black that we use throughout the entire design. We're using the same colors from the last video. So inside of here, we're going to have a heading on the left. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab the logo we have up top and hold option or alt and then click and drag that down and we'll set it to white so we can see it. I'm copying that because we're going to use the same size font. Poppins 30 point medium weight and make sure that's left aligned. Command shift comma on the keyboard will bring up the columns. You can also select the artboard and go down to this check mark to turn back on our 12 column grid. So we can align this vertically centered inside of our rectangle and along this left side column. Selecting this button, I'm gonna hold option or alt and click and drag one out. I'm going to select the rectangle in the background by double clicking, and I'm just going to fill it with green. And then the text is going to go to black. In here, we're going to have a series of languages. So I'm going to go ahead and add those now. Holding option or alt to click and drag and make duplicates for each one, and then changing the text. Once we have all of our rectangles here, I'm going to click on each of them holding shift, select each one. I'm going to make sure they're aligned vertically, command G to group them. And then we're going to convert this to a stack. We're going to make sure it's a horizontal stack. And then I'm going to set the spacing to an even 30. So that should make that look a lot nicer. And then we'll position this on the second column on the right and vertically centered inside of that rectangle. And I'll just change my heading text. And we now have each one of those language buttons in place. Next up, let's create a heading for the next section. This is going to be some black text. And we're going to set this to 56 point font. I'm going to go with about 73 for the line height, medium weight. It's going to paste in some text. I'm going to set that to auto height and drag this on into five columns. I'm going to copy the body text we have up here and just drag that down. Same spacing we use up here. We'll put this 20 points below this next heading. So in this section, we're going to have a video on the left and some cards on the right. So I'm just going to drag out a rectangle. This is going to be five columns wide. And I'll set it to 380 for the height. I'm going to place that 60 points below that body text there. Then to mimic the style we have up top with the nice outlines, I'm going to add a size to stroke. I'm going to make sure this is on the inside. And then I'm going to right click, apply as border on our black color. Then I'll just drag in an image for our placeholder rectangle. And then we have the opacity on the video above at 85. So I'll set that on this here. And since we're lowering that opacity, let's go ahead and remove the stroke on this. And then we'll copy and paste this rectangle. So now we have two of them. I'm going to remove the fill and then apply that border again. So that way that border is 100% opacity. And that opacity of that background image is not affecting it. I'm going to grab this play button that we created earlier. Copy that. Paste it down here. Selecting that in the rectangle. Just going to center that play button onto that video. Next up, we're going to have some cards over here on the right. I've already went ahead and created the sizing for these. So they're going to be 398 wide by 405 on the height. We're going to have four of these. So I'm just going to position this one on the far right side column, holding option or alt, drag out a duplicate, and we're going to put 16 spacing. So that's going to be what we have in between each of these columns here. So that'll line up nicely. And then we're going to do the same thing, selecting both of those optional and dragging that down 16 spacing throughout the entire card section. 
With all of those selected, we can set the border to our black color and size that up to two. The heading on each one of these cards is gonna be the same size as this font. So I'm just gonna grab that, paste in some text, set it to auto height. And I'm gonna put 30 spacing on the left side edge of this and on the right side. So I'll just drag that in. So now we have 30 spacing on each side, the left and the right of that. Grab some lorem ipsum. We'll put that for the body font, and then we're gonna put 14 points below that heading. Since this is a smaller heading, we're just gonna shrink that space a little bit smaller there, and just drag this in to match the same width as this. So we should have 30 on each side. For this, we'll leave this at 16 points. I'm gonna grab both of these holding shift and just drag down. And on this, let's go with 50 points from the bottom edge of the card there. And then we can just hold option or alt and drag these out into every single one of these cards, or you can create one and then duplicate it three times. I'm just gonna go ahead and change the text here. And we have each one of these cards. To position these, I'm just gonna click and drag to select all four cards. I'm gonna hold option and see how much spacing we have below this black rectangle. I'm just gonna drag this down. So we have about 240 points, should be a good amount of space. And then I'm just going to group all those together same thing with the left side, group it, shift click to grab both of them, and then we'll vertically align them with this icon here. And that'll give us our next section. Let's add a little detail here in the corner. So I'm just gonna grab a ellipse and just hold shift, drag out a circle, size that up to 120 by 120. We'll add a size of two for the border, that black color, and then we'll fill it green. And I'm gonna put that right on that corner of that card. Load up Nucleo here and grab a star icon. Drag and drop that in, fill it to black, and then we'll put it right in the center of that circle. And then I'll just scale it up to about right there. So, so far we have our hero, this black bar in this next section. I'm gonna grab the name of the artboard and then drag down some more space for us to work. For this next section, we're gonna have a heading up top and then we're going to have three of the sites professors in cards. So let's grab this heading we have here. Copy that. Command C or Control C. Command V or Control V to paste it. And we're going to put 300 points of space below this bottom card and this heading. And then we'll change the text here. Select the instructor you want to learn from. We're going to showcase three of the professors here, but there's going to be more that you can view. So I'm just going to grab some font to work with and we'll drag this down here. Type in view more there and we'll underline that. And that's 20 points, medium weight. Then we're going to align that to the bottom of this text and on this far right side edge. Since we have these nice columns to work with, we can just grab a rectangle and drag one out four wide. That'll give us 536 points on the width, and then we'll set the height to an even 700. That'll be our card size we're gonna work with, and we'll put about 40 below this main heading. And so on this one, we'll just style this one first and then duplicate it. So I'm gonna remove the border on this. I'm just gonna drag in an image of a headshot. It's gonna be one of our instructors. And I'm gonna to try to position the face kind of in the center of the upper area here. And with all three of the professor images, I'm gonna to try to make them look uniform the best I can. So we'll just start with this one as our template. And now that we have that in here, we'll drag this down to 85% opacity just to kind of match the style of the site and have a little bit of that pink tint in there without having to create any more work for ourselves. In the top right, we'll have the professor name so I'll just go up here and grab one of these green buttons and drag it down. And we'll just put that 40 from the top and 40 from the right side edge. So there we go. And in the bottom left, we're gonna have a play button down here. So each one of these professors can introduce themselves really quickly. So I'll just copy and paste our play button we've already created and we'll scale it down to 72 by 72. On this one, instead of 40 from the edge, we're gonna go with 50 and 50. So 50 from the left and 50 from the bottom. Lastly, I'm going to select the rectangle for the image. Command C, Command V to create a duplicate. I'm gonna raise the opacity to 100%, select the border and remove the fill. 
Same thing we did above, just applying a border to this that's 100% opacity with a black color. So that'll give us our stylized professor card. Selecting all of that, I'm going to hit Option or Alt and drag this over. You can even convert this to a symbol if you'd like and then edit all instances of it. But since we're only doing three, I'm not gonna convert it to a symbol. Drag in our images for each one of these professors. And like I said, trying to make these as uniform as possible. So I have the top of their head about the same distance from the top here, and I've got their face pretty much in the center of the card. So it looks nice and consistent. And then we'll just change the name on these buttons. So we've got our three highlighted professors, a few more buttons to take you to the rest of them, but let's add some more to this. So let's add some buttons in the bottom right so you can actually flip through these and view more than just these three. So I'm gonna grab a rectangle, drag it out holding shift, and then we'll set that to 48 by 48. Remove the fill and we'll apply a border size of two and set that to black. And then inside of that, I'm gonna go back to Nucleo and grab an arrow icon. This one will work. Fill that to the black color. And we'll center that into that square. Command G to group that together. We'll align the right side arrow on the right side column and 40 points below this card, holding Option or Alt. I'm gonna drag out a duplicate to the left, 14 points from this one. I'm gonna select this arrow and then just click this icon here to flip it. And that will complete that section. Before we create the footer, last thing I wanna do is have a call to action. So we'll grab another heading here, just drag it down. This one's going to be center aligned. And the same thing for the positioning on this. We're gonna select this text, hold Option, and I'm gonna hover over the bottom most element in this section. And we're gonna make sure this top number right here is 300 points. So we have 300 point spacing in between that section. Then I'm gonna paste in some text. And I'm gonna drag this out to have one column of spacing on each side of this text drag down our call to action button here. Make sure that's centered and put that 40 points below. That's pretty much our call to action section. So next we'll create the footer. We'll just drag out a rectangle for now. Looks like we're gonna need more space. I'll just drag this down. And we're gonna put this 300 points below this bottom button. I'm gonna set the height on this rectangle to 280. So we have a nice size footer. And I'm gonna fill that to black to contrast the pink. Holding option, we have 295 space between that and the bottom of the artboard. So if I double click to grab that artboard, little trick, I can just go to the height, minus 295, and that'll put that right on the bottom of the artboard. Just grab this text from up here in this section. It's 30 points, medium weight. We'll just change this back to the logo. So we're gonna have the site logo down here on the bottom. Next, we'll have some lorem ipsum. We'll just grab some body font from somewhere here. Drag that down, fill that to white. Command shift, left square bracket key to bring it all the way to the front if you need to. Paste some lorem ipsum in and we'll set that to whatever looks good, maybe four columns wide. There's three, four, that looks pretty good. And then we'll do 20 spacing below that learn heading. And we'll center both of those vertically inside of this rectangle. And then we only have three links on this site. So I'm just gonna go up to the top, grab this group we already created, drag out a duplicate, drag that down. I'm gonna fill the text to white and command shift left square bracket key to bring that to the front. And I'm going to put these links with one column of spacing on the right side. And I'm gonna center that with the learn text. So I'm gonna make sure those are centered right there. Just like that. And then we have our footer. Go ahead and remove my column there. And we can take a look at our finished learning website. So that's gonna do it for today's video. That was finishing up this web design for a learning platform. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a like. Subscribe for more Adobe XD and design related content. And as always, 
Have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.